everybody. My name is Mr. Dye. I'm a PE teacher here in the Cupertino District. We're going to be introducing to you today two parts of the body, and we're going to explain the importance of each of those parts. Okay? The first part is the heart, and the heart is located right here. And what the heart does is it's a muscle. The heart is actually a muscle. It is probably the muscle that is the most in shape in your body because it's always working even when you're sleeping. And what the heart does is it beats like this and it acts like a pump. So what it does is it pumps blood through your body. Now this is part of the cardiovascular system. And the blood is very important because what it does is it takes nutrients to your muscles and allows the muscles to function. It also brings oxygen to the muscles. So the blood is really important and our bodies need it in order for us to move around and be active. So the heart pumps just like so and it takes blood through our body which allows us to be active and do things. Now if we're more active, our body is going to need more blood so the heart begins to pump faster. If we're not as active, if we're resting, napping, maybe working on homework, well, our body doesn't need as much blood, so it's not going to beat as much. Now, each year as you get older, you're going to learn more and more about the heart and what it does for you. The main thing you want to know now is in order to take care of the heart, remember, it's a muscle. So what you want to do is you want to exercise, just going on a nice, easy walk moving around around the house, doing a couple of exercises, something that gets the heart rate up a little bit, makes it beat a little bit better, that's all you need to do. That's going to be healthy for the heart, and it's going to be healthy for you. All right? Now, the next thing we're going to talk about are the lungs. Now, the lungs, there are a couple of basically sacs in your body, and what they do is they have two functions. They bring air in, which brings oxygen into your body. Remember we talked about that with the blood. The body needs oxygen to survive. That's how we breathe. When we've used up oxygen, we create a gas that's called carbon dioxide. We don't need that, so when we breathe in, we breathe oxygen in, it goes into our lungs. When we breathe out, we get rid of the carbon dioxide. It's an amazing machine the body is really understands how to function to keep you healthy. So what the lungs do is when you breathe in, oxygen comes in, goes down the tube, and it fills the lungs. If you take a deep breath, you can see your chest get bigger and go down because the lungs are filling with air. See that right there? That's my lungs filling with air. As the oxygen comes in, it goes to the lung wall or the side of the lungs where the oxygen is absorbed and it's then put into the bloodstream to be carried through the body. So you see how the body works with other parts of the body to keep you happy and healthy. Those are just a couple of parts of your body that are important for you to know about and important to remember to take care of. And remember, exercise is the best way to do that. I hope you had fun learning about this and we'll see you later on.